So I just want to say before the video starts that I got a new mic, so I'll be using this now. Hopefully it sounds better. But anyways, yeah, enjoy. I get a lot of people asking me, like, does this bypass, does that bypass, what setting should I use? And so I thought, hmm, maybe I should just make a guide on how to close G safely on Hypixel. I just want to say that you have to have game sense and know how PvP works before you start closeting. You can't just expect it to make you crazy at the game. There are videos like this, but they're all outdated as staff and the anti-cheat have been changing. Like for example, Raindog's video from July says hitboxes are safe just on any account and that's sadly no longer true. Firstly, you need a client and there are a lot of options. The two that I'd recommend are either Vape V4 or Raven B+. There are many others such as Astolfil, Pulse of Light and Rise, but these two are the most commonly used. Vape is $30 and Raven B+, is free. The only major feature that Raven B Plus lacks against Vape is Kill Aura, but if you're good enough, you don't really need it anyways. If you want to cheat on an account you care about, then you probably shouldn't use Kill Aura in the first place, just to be safe, so Raven B Plus is probably sufficient. I personally prefer Vape, just because of how clean the GUI is and how polished it feels, but that's just my personal opinion. Alright, so now you've got the right client, but what settings should you use? Settings are a really disputed topic where a lot of arguments happen. My settings are just based on my own experience, as well as things I've read off the vape forums. Auto clicker with 14 to 16 CPS is fine, and you could go higher and probably not get banned for it, but in my opinion, you get the best hit rate around this area. Aim assist is completely undetectable and so are all the render modules, so use them however you want. If you need to toggle a bit, then you can use slight reach and velo, but if you're on a good account, I would go no higher than 3.3 reach and no lower than 90% horizontal velo, especially if you've got under 80 milliseconds ping. Your reach and velo settings basically vary depending on your ping, so take that into account. The higher ping you've got, the more reach and velo you can have, and vice versa. I'll leave a more detailed guide in the description with all the ping ranges, but if you've got around 20 milliseconds ping, then you need to be a lot more careful than someone who has 200. Scaffold is fine on any delay, and it doesn't get you staffed yet, so it's completely up to personal preference. I'd go 70 to 90 because it's fast, but that's just me. Watchdog has been getting quite a few updates recently, so I'd no longer use fast place with zero delay or the Vape V4 bridging modules. And Killora is fine with the correct settings, so maybe 5 to 7 attacks per second on legit aura, but personally I found it wasn't reliable for clutching fights and it's not worth the risk for me. If you want to stay undetected and not get staff banned, then I've also got some tips which I've acquired over time and also heard from some people. So three of them are scaffold related, but basically you just turn it off when you're not bridging, like please. The amount of people who leave it on really annoys me, and this is because it makes you do something called clipping. Clipping is basically when you walk up to the edge of a block and scaffold thinks you want to start bridging, so it shifts. It looks really obvious to experienced players and I'm pretty sure staff are banning for it now. The second tip is to actually shift while jumping when you're scaffolding. If you jump without shifting, you often fall and also it looks really sus. Thirdly, make sure to line up your cursor properly when you're diagonal bridging. Otherwise, it double shifts like this and I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that you're cheating. Last tip is to know when it's appropriate to toggle. Normally, I just use auto clicker until I need to use reach or velo because it provides a huge advantage on its own. That way, you can minimize your chances of getting banned. Anyway, hope this helps. Uh, sorry for not posting in like eight days, but yeah, bye.